over to the west of the New Forest and this site here is really good for scarce blue-tailed damselfly. This brook flows through the site and off it comes these little ditches that dry out towards the end and that is where you find the scarce blue-tailed damselfly. Now they're quite similar to the common blue-tail so I'm going to be quite careful with my identification but I have seen them here before so fingers crossed I'll see some today. It became a bit cloudy as I walked upstream passing these new forest ponies. The wind was starting to pick up by the time I found my first damselfly. In the mouths of both blue-tailed damselfly species, there is a blue patch near the tip of the abdomen, but the exact position of this blue tail differs between them. I initially thought I had found my target, but on a closer inspection, I could see the blue tail was in the wrong place for a scarce blue-tailed. Carried on past some more ponies, and the first suitable looking ditch had a blue-tailed damselfly in it, but once again it wasn't a scarce blue-tailed. Now all these little side ditches look much the same, but when I got to this one, I was pretty sure it was the one I'd seen a scarce blue-tailed on before. As I approached the edge, I saw it was clearly one species of blue-tailed damselfly take off, but the only one... Scarce blue-tailed damselfly. You could clearly see the blue tail, which was closest to the end of the abdomen in this species, covering the whole of abdomen segment 9. It's a lot easier to see the difference side by side. You can see segment 9 is black on top with the common blue-tailed species. It's not so easy to see without them being side by side, but you can also see the scarce blue-tailed has a relatively shorter wing length. And here's a close-up of those blue tails side by side, so you can really see the difference. I observed and filmed the species for a while. At one point it started to clean its wings with its abdomen. Then it cleaned its abdomen with its legs. At least I think that's what it's doing. The strong breeze didn't exactly make the filming easy though. There was a second male there too. This one caught a small midge and ate it sitting on one of the rushes. Eventually the sun did come out and the damselflies became more active. A common blue-tailed damselfly was moving around too. This species is much more widespread than the scarce blue-tailed and can be found across the UK, even in polluted waters. I caught this male cleaning its wings before he flew off. With the sun now out, I got some better footage of the scarce blue-tailed, this male cleaning his wings again. This species is much more fussy than the common blue-tailed and favours warm shallow water and is quite localised, with most UK sites located in Wales and in the south and southwest of England. Unfortunately, with the sun came the dog owners, which meant dogs swimming in the stream. So I moved on further upstream, where I ran into this stone chat, a common bird of Heathland. This one looks like a juvenile or young bird. It seemed pretty unbothered by my presence. Their name comes from the sound of their call, which sounds like two stones being knocked together. Unfortunately, this one didn't call to demonstrate it. I passed by another pony as I entered a small area of open woodland and scrub, and got a lovely surprise as this spotted flycatcher landed right in front of me. Not a common bird to see in Essex, where I live, so it's always nice to see them. They are known for their habit of flying up from a perch, catching a fine insect and then returning to the same perch, as demonstrated by this one here. There was a group of ponies nearby. These new forest ponies are of course semi-wild. They live free most of the year, but they're owned by people and graze the land much in the same way wild horses would have done thousands of years ago and go some way to replicate the natural processes needed to maintain this habitat. I did come across this crow wandering around the ponies, but no more dragonflies were seen. Well, I've had a wonderful day here in the New Forest. I've got all the species I wanted to see. I've got some bonus spotted fly catchers and that wonderful raft spider, of course. So I think I've put down today as a success. And I'm just gonna have a nice leisurely walk back to the car, I think, because it's a rather nice evening. It was a wonderful view over the valley as I headed back to the car. Yes, more ponies, but I do love them. That bird stood out in the sun just as I got to my car. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider giving us a like and drop me a comment if you feel like it. It all helps with the algorithm. And if you like dragonflies, do please consider subscribing 
more dragonfly tour episodes to come, with my second attempt to see brilliant emerald dragonflies, and of course my Scottish adventures coming up next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.